essentially what I will talk um, today about, and thanks a lot for giving this opportunity to uh, show Phoebe. Um, I'm, I will show how to use Phoebe to create concept sets, and now you can do that in Atlas. Uh, we use the public version, which is atlas-demo.odyssey.org. Um, uh, but of course, if you have your own Atlas instance, what it takes for you to get the same uh, features is to upgrade it to the most recent version. And essentially, we uh, usually start concept sets from, from total scratch, or we start from the existing concept sets that we, for example, borrow from the literature. And I will start with the first use case where you start from just the clinical idea. And let's say, for example, you're interested in a prostate cancer. Usually what you would do is you would go to the search tab. You would type uh, prostate cancer because you know nothing about the ontology space in the OMA vocabularies, and you would click on the magnifying glass, right? And the expectation here is that um, Atlas will show some of the concepts that are useful for us so that we can choose. But if you look at this, output, you see all sorts of things. You see some observations, some procedures, SNOMED, CPT4, read, and really nothing uh, fits our purpose because it's all the concepts that are not conditions. So what we should do instead is whenever we have this clinical idea, we should not click on the magnifying glass. Uh, we should get on the sh green shopping cart. And this is the um button that will initialize phoebe and will provide you the starting point and the recommendations so what it does it brings you to the new concept set that we can just name right away and it brings you to the recommender tab which is a new tab where you can see all of the recommendations but what you can what you want to explore first is to actually look at the initial starting point that was chosen. So if you click on the concept set expression, you will see that Phoebe, uh, based on the lexical match, was actually able to find a very good starting point, which is malignant tumor of prostate. And that essentially is prostate cancer, even though the string does not have the word cancer in it. So that's already very nice. And what it does, it adds this starting point with all of the descendants. Um, so as we feel good about the starting point, we can go to the recommend tab to explore all of the recommendations. Uh, and we can see here that there are 66 recommendations uh, ordered by, as usual, descending record count, so that when you review those recommendations, you can prioritize your review based, um, based on the most uh, prevalent concepts and those that will bring you the most records. Also, another way to go about it is to look at the types of recommendations that are provided on your left. And what you can see here is that we have uh, lexical recommendations as we used to have uh, in uh, Phoebe 1.0, and you can click on them, you can explore them. Uh, of course, you would see because it's lexical match, on top you would see this very broad common terms like other types of neoplasms, which we probably don't want. Uh, but as you scroll down, um, and the list is rather short, so you can actually afford scrolling down and reviewing all of them, you would see other things like, for example, this uh, HICPIX and CPT4 code, not HICPIX, but the CPT4 uh, code, which says high risk of recurrence prostate cancer. Um, so it seems that this is the code that brings in 22,000 of records. And it means that the patient has a prostate cancer and this prostate cancer is of high risk of recurrence. Uh, so probably this is something uh, we actually want. Uh, so how we can add, we can add this concept by, as usual, clicking um, on this checkbox, scrolling all the way down, um, clicking on descendants and adding that to the concept set. And what it does, it, updates your concept set so that this concept is included and it automatically recalculates all of the recommendations for this new concept set. So now, for example, we have 67 recommendations instead of 66. The other types of recommendations that we might, may want to explore are the 
ontological recommendations, which are essentially parents and kids uh, in the hierarchy. In this very specific example, I happen to know that it's not useful, but sometimes for other conditions, you may also want to explore parents um, to see if they're relevant. And another type of recommendation, which is new to Phoebe 2.0, is the patient context. Uh, so this type of recommendation essentially represents the recommendations coming from the patient data. Uh, and here you can uh, see four of them. And the very first one says carcinoma in situ of prostate, which is essentially the first uh, stage of cancer. So you may choose to add that or not to add that based on your clinical judgment. For the purposes of this tutorial, we would say we also want that. Uh, and we would add it with the descendants, and we will uh, see that the concept set again has now three terms, and the there are more recommendations uh, for this new concept set. And essentially, you would uh, save and iterate as many times as it is needed to uh, make sure that the concept set is comprehensive. Uh, for this concept set, it's not the end, you can do more. Uh, but again, for the purposes of this uh, demo, we will stop here. Uh, but basically, the whole idea is that you will iterate uh, until you feel good about it. Another use case is when you start with an existing concept set. So there, for example, you borrow it from the literature or uh, you ask your clinicians about some concepts uh, and uh, you basically created this original concept set that you now want to explore and modify and ensure uh, that is comprehensive. And if it loads, I will show you how to um, update the existing concept set. But of course, the idea uh, is pretty much the same is that you take um, the concept set and explore different recommendations and iterate until you feel good about it. Um, yeah. Um, so we have this concept set hypoglycemia. I randomly found it on Atlas. So somebody created it. Um, and I thought it was a very good uh, example of how you can uh, modify the existing concept set. So I copied it. And essentially, it looks like the idea of this concept set is to capture all of the codes related to hypoglycemia. And you can uh, again go to the recommend tab and explore the recommendations uh, like, for example, um, again, patient context or lexical. If we look at the patient context, uh, we would see that right away we have the codes that literally says hypoglycemia due to something, in this case, due to diabetes mellitus and accounts for 5 million records to begin with, and also it literally has the word hyperglycemia in it. So you don't even need any clinical judgment to figure out that this is prob probably something that you like and that you want. Uh, and further down, there are other types of recommendations that seem completely relevant, like hyperglycemic coma or non-diabetic hyperglycemic coma. They bring a lot of um, records in your concept set, so you definitely want to add all of this, click on the sentence, and again, iterate um, over and over at feel, until you feel good uh, about this set, like for, for example, like this. Uh, and you would see that now the total number of uh, recommendations goes up, and you would do that again iteratively uh, until you feel good about it. That is available on the public atlas again, and you can also uh, use it on your own uh, Atlas in instance, and these record counts are coming from our network study from 22 data sources. But if you do that on your local instance, you can also pull your uh, local record counts from your instance. And that would be it for me. I think I managed to fill all of my time. So please go ahead and check it out. And I think it will be useful for you whenever you create any new concept sets.